Comcast IRL will be live in Miami with Patrick Bet David, Donald Trump Jr., Matt Gates, and Luke Rudkowski. Join us there. Get your tickets by clicking the link in the description below or by going to TimCast.com. Bill Malugan says breaking one of the largest mass illegal crossings we have ever seen took place in Eagle Pass, Texas this morning. Border Patrol sources is telling us over 2,200 people crossed since midnight. It happened right next to the port of entry as illegal immigrants continue to ignore the Biden admin messaging of do not come and do not fear the promised consequences of crossing illegally. Videos from source in Mexico and our Fox drone team. I mean, look at these videos. This is bonkers. You've got people in New York screaming at the politicians saying, stop this. And it's only getting worse. What's the solution? Do we do we have to set up? We got to build a wall. Got to build a big, beautiful wall from sea to or shining sea. Or expand. You, you know, you, they're, they're, the U.S. is beautiful. There's a lot of open land in the U.S. If the government wants to be so a part of this, they should take some of the funding. We're giving billions of dollars to, to, to Ukraine. No one knows where the money's going. Take take two billion dollars and go in that area in New York where there was nothing and build them a city or something. I don't or know. Or put it into revamping no, 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 no. asylum. I'm court. sorry. I'm sorry. Take the two billion dollars. Get a bunch of buses that are very nice and very comfortable and bring them back on it. And we send them back home. Yes. We send them back. Yeah. The, the, the challenge with deportation is that if they're not Mexican citizens, we can't go to Mexico and be like, we're sending these people to your country within reason. So they end up getting flown back to, say, Guatemala or Honduras or wherever they may be from. Many of these people, not a lot, I'm saying, uh, I'm, saying I'm not saying the majority, but a lot of them are coming from South America and even Africa. They'll fly from Africa to Brazil and then trek all the way up to the southern border where they know they can just walk into yeah, the United but, States. But, them, but Venezuelans coming illegally through Mexico into the U.S. and is kind of like if Chris gave you a Dr. Pepper and you spilled it on me, I can't blame Chris because you're the one that spills so like Mexico is the one that's letting them across the yep. border. Yeah. So of course, yeah, hell yeah, we can send them back to Mexico. I'm just saying like there are certain circumstances where we go to Mexico and it's like, hey, we have a bunch of these citizens, that are not our citizens, you can't God, send them here. It's like it's a, of course it's like a finger trap. They want it. It's it's <laughs> like it, if it was easy, it would have been solved already. We got it. We got it. How about this? I think it's a good point. Take all that money that went to Ukraine and just spend it on transportation for these people back to their homes and securing the border and stopping this because we can't sustain this economically. When when these people are screaming at AOC, like, get these people out, it's because they're saying we're cutting services. We're cutting police. We're cutting, you, you know, your tax benefits to fund these other people who had just arrived. And people are like, this is insane. I've been paying into the system. And now it's being taken from me by these strangers who are coming in and effectively stealing from us. Well, they should just say, you are not welcome to just illegally enter. All immigrants are welcome in the United States, but you got to do it legally. We could also maybe instead of investing in slave labor in China, maybe start building factories in these Central American, South American countries that are more the more that our neighbors are. Also disagree. We, we should build factories in the United States for American. Well, workers. yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely yep. the, the first thing to do. But maybe help these other countries that are to the south of us, maybe have a better economy so they don't want to come here. We 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 already spend the money in China. Might as well get yeah, closer I, to our I, home. It's kind of an interesting <laughs> argument. Like, would it be better to make it in, in at least in North America or at least in this, South this part of yeah. in South America than in China and potentially alleviate our immigration? It'd be good I, for the climate too, you know, not as long of ship rides right. for, for the cargo. I mean, I ultimately <laughs> think, yeah, manufacturing jobs should come back to the US, but it's for not sure. a bad point. Like, it is interesting that we're willing to ship manufacturing somewhere else, but we're saying, oh, these people are fleeing economic and political turmoil, yet we are not adjusting anything we're doing. Yeah, my yeah, number on one option is bring back manufacturing back to the United States, but I mean that's not happening either. So why is but AOC was, so confident in just telling New Yorkers how it is like this? Why is she just out there, like they're all yelling at her, and she's out there like she you're all care. you're all she's not listening. We don't to care anybody. about you. She's just she's just not listening what none of the people of the community are saying. And she's why does she feel that comfortable? She, she could just go in there elitist. and no one's gonna do nothing. And because uh, she, she says crazy. she's the moral well, hierarchy, she, right? because nobody can vote her out. So she doesn't, so she's going to win her primary because she, she got like 14,000 votes. She gets a primary. So she doesn't care what one protest thinks mm -hmm. because the average person is not voting. And that's why people need to go out. Man, I'm telling you, I think AOC could easily lose her district, especially over this. But people have to go there and just start spreading the word, informing people. Because what happens is the average person who votes in the primary, which effectively gets her elected, the average person who votes in the in the congressional elections, they just vote for Democrats. They don't care who it is. AOC knows. That's got to stop. The only people screaming are the people who pay attention. Guess what? You're few and far between. So she's thinking to herself, I can say whatever I want. No, it doesn't matter. Nancy Pelosi said she held up a glass of water and said, 
People will vote for a glass of water if you put a D on it in Meyer AOC's district. They know it. Mm-hmm. They know that this no. This is what Republicans need to do. Republicans need to invest a stupid amount of money in in her district. That's it. Like they're doing in Texas. The the the, the Democrats are doing that in Texas to try to really get as much influence they can there. But it's just, I don't know. I, looking at the parties, it, it just gets confusing because it's half a uniparty. The Republican Party is pretty weak. Right. It's it's the the the. The, the Democrats come off very evil to me right now. There's a lot of things that I'm seeing that I'm like, poof. They're evil, man. I got yeah. a super chat. The guy was seeing like, I evil. also want to join the military, but I can't with Joe Biden. I can't. I won't join Joe Biden's military. That's like, that's the evil. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it's not even that. I mean, it, w- it was Millie. You know, I mean, like even even if uh, uh, Trump gets reelected, is he going to clean house and bring in better leadership? He has to. If he doesn't, I'm going to be suspicious <coughs> of him. You I know, mean, I'm we're like, hoping he does, but he did it the first time. I'm, that's why I and am so, suspicious of him because he didn't right. do it before. So, so the general idea right now is Trump is your best bet. It doesn't mean it's a good bet. I, got, I, I, I should say it's it's your best bet. It's a good bet in that sense. It doesn't mean you're going to get what you want. He's a people pleaser. It. He's like, uh, did you see him talking about abortion and how he's going to make a deal with the Democrats? And he's like, I'm going to make a deal that everyone likes about abortion. 15 weeks? Nah. Well, yeah. Well, and it's like, dude. Stop trying to make everybody happy, man. That's yeah. not, it didn't work the first time. You can't just, you can't just be an entertainer if you want to be in politics. He got clowned pretty hard by the COVID team too. The Fauci and the Burks, they, they, they just ran him. You know, that was tough for me. I just want anybody to come in at that, that stops the unjust that we're seeing and the direction of culture and society that we're seeing. I think it's, it's getting pretty ugly and it needs to be nipped in the butt. And that's why I just, I just keep on putting my faith in God and trying to be closer to my community because I know that's what I can do is my part. This this is the most important thing that people can do right now because a lot of these problems that we face are daunting. And a lot of people want simple solutions. Like if I vote for Trump, Trump does the job. Eh, You know, voting for Trump is a good thing to do. Spreading the word first and foremost is more important because for every person you convince to vote for, and it's not necessarily Trump, it's for somebody who's actually going to uphold our values and try and keep Americans safe and, and better our economy and better the world. Convincing people to vote better multiplies your vote for everyone you convince. Yep. But the most important thing is always going to be, I mean, first, let's go in the hierarchy. The least, one of the least important things in terms of fixing all the problems is going to be just voting for the president, right? Because you got to, more important than that, convince other people to vote for a good president. More important than that, convince people to vote for good members of Congress. More important than that, convince people to vote locally for your state rep, state senator, city council, you name it. That's the stuff that has impact on your city. If everybody got everyone uh, uh, to vote for good candidates at the local level, it starts to fix things from the ground up. Then the next important thing after all the voting is said and done is you got to succeed, take care of your family, find a good job, be physically, physically well, stop eating the garbage, start exercising. Mm -hmm. You know what I was thinking as I was playing, I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3. I love this game and it's such a popular game. It's so big. And I'm thinking to myself, how many people are playing this game right now and they're not upping their own stats? Mm. When you play games like this, you level up. You get experience points, you level up. Now your character is stronger, you unlock new abilities. And I'm like, how many people play this game and love that idea, but don't do it for themselves? That, that, I'm like, that's to be the training program, right? That's the- Solutions, the, man, you're offering solutions This right is what now. you do. You want a training program? Someone, and I'm sure this exists already. A personal trainer should create the RPG training program where you get you you level up and then they track your stats and then they show you your 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 avatar or whatever. It's addicting. Treat it like a video game where you're actually breaking barriers and then it can be like in order to get like I mean like uh, 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 martial arts belts is kind of like this. Yep. You level up. You get the next level. You want to attain that. You want to get. The, I think that's how you got to approach it. Dude, if you could get crypto for that and it measured your biometrics, you like held the handles Yo. and it's like you've gained two percent body fat. That's and then they put like a dollar ninety in your bank account. Whenever your horny, your wife a, gets a little heart signal. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, this is an idea she that knows might, it's time. Hey, this is this is an idea <laughs> that might get you in trouble, Ian. It's That's probably already idea. in development right now. I would a, imagine a, these a, technocrats. Check it out. An Hello. app that that generates cryptocurrency when you're when you're like, it's gonna like so you got these apps, like I'm wearing this watch, and it tracks vitals and stats and stuff like that. So once you reach a certain degree of like health and stress and it goes down, you're earning more crypto per day. The more healthy you are, like lower resting heart rate, less stress, the more crypto it generates. Yeah, you just got to make sure the code is free and that yeah. you're controlling because they're going to be sending all that data, some centralized data. Oh, ideally, they won't be, but it's likely that if you just grab yeah. some random app, it's it going to be sending it to marriages, like, right? You could be like, look, babe, my vitals are saying that we haven't made love in four days. <laughs> Your vitals like, are we, right. My vitals imagine, are proven that I need some. 
Imagine if you made a video game that like earn me some money when you when you defeat a bad guy and it drops a few gold pieces yeah. you get bonus multipliers based on your personal physical health and like things if you could somehow um figure out like learning if you get paid to learn like you go down and you you're looking at the grass and you can somehow discern like what kind of plant that is uh, i don't know that's complicated uh, that's long term but so, we can we can actually like if you're playing a game like starfield or Baldur's gate or whatever I, no one's going to do this because there's no money in investing yeah. in it. It's just a social good that no one's going to want to do. But imagine it's like, oh, you get 1.1 times your experience points if you're if you're at uh, average health fitness. If you're above average, you get 1.2 times. And if you're unhealthy, you get minus one. Oh, yeah, you rested XP gain. Yeah. So it's like a way to encourage people. This is, this, is, this is the problem right now is the United States is basically just this gluttonous state of the seven. It's, or I shouldn't even say gluttonous. I should, it's all the seven deadly sins. People are, are not taking care of themselves. They're not planning for for uh, long term. They're not planning their families. They're not up bettering their 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 bodies. They're just chasing after those dopamine hits, and it's resulting in decay. This would be a perfect opportunity for like a really good health insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> but they're all in bed with big pharma, so they'd actually yeah. don't want to do that. They, but. they they do this stuff. Like insurance companies already do this, where it's like if you submit your health data, they'll lower your rates and things like that. Sounds like a like it's a like, well. It's kind of scary if you think about it, but. I don't know, man. Is it is it is it is it that bad? The challenge is, what are they doing with your data that may be nefarious? Because there's going to be corrupt people there. But the idea that you get to pay less because you take care of yourself, I think, is a good thing. Yeah, and or they you pay you in crypto because and you, you save them money. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> ma ma yeah. You make you, you make money with your you make money with yeah. Exactly. I like the insurance incentivization, except that if they are like, did you not get vaccinated for some random thing oh, we yeah. think you should be? Then maybe we'll make you pay more for your insurance this year yeah you know? there's ambiguity what in what they define as being healthy or making right. good choices or they could stop making prices up at the hospital take your kid in for a fever yeah motrin will do it two thousand four hundred twenty two dollars you're like that's a made-up number thanks for watching this clip from the timcast irl podcast hang out with us live monday through friday at 8 p.m and become a member over at timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.